Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video here in Car Mechanic. It has been quite some time since we've made a Car Mechanic video, maybe a month or so. So hopefully guys, you still do enjoy these videos. If you never knew, I do post some Car Mechanic, something a little bit different than GTA. So if you do want to see some more and you're interested with some Car Mechanic videos, please do leave a like, show some love and support in this video to make sure, uh, you know, it doesn't receive hate just because it's not GTA. I would hate to see that. Hopefully you guys won't do that, but let's head over at the junkyard and uh, I want to find something pretty cool to build. So we're just going to look for the perfect vehicle, I suppose. Okay, we have arrived. Let's take a look what's out here. I already see the first car. And by looking at this, I think that is... What's that car? What is this car? This is... I know the name of this. Why is it not coming in my head? Lexus RCF. Okay, okay, okay. The reason why I know this car is because uh, a guy I watch on YouTube... Um, has this car, uh, Black Panther, if you ever uh, heard of that, or of him, uh, he has this car, so this is pretty badass. Let's keep on looking, though. I don't feel like making or building that car. Uh, it's, it's not really my type of thing, so let's uh, let's keep on searching. There's nothing really here. It's kind of empty over here. Nothing there, too. Really? There's nothing here? Got something. What the hell is this? That is a... Is that a Civic? That is a Civic. Oh, my word. Yo, that is a Honda Civic Type R. Nice, with the 199 brake horsepower. This thing's clean. Look at this. Can I sit in it? Dude, it's got... That's kind of clean. It's got a little bit of carbon there for some reason as well. It looks kind of nice. Okay, this is definitely a possibility. A nice little Civic. Yeah. Okay, let's keep on searching around. Let's see if... Um, anything good is around here. This is... There's not really that many cars here today. What? Normally, there's this. Normally, this is like a junkyard from Dubai, and there's like uh, Bugattis, Ferraris. There's actually really just two cars, just two cars. Ooh, a Skyline. Yo, is that a? That's a Skyline. <sighs> is this R32? This is R32. Nice. Is it? Wait, it is. Nissan Skyline GTR R32. Yes! I think we found it, boys. I think we found it. I'm down to do that. Let's just make sure there's nothing around this corner. Okay, we already did... I think we already did the Skyline. No, we did the R... R35. Let's do this. Why the hell not? I mean, look at the interior. looks okay. Let's sit down. It's missing a seat, but... The interior looks... Why does that look like it's like a voxel steering wheel? Straight out of a voxel. That's kind of stupid. Uh, but yeah, everything else is great. The I okay. Uh, can we start it? No. There's a bunch of parts probably missing. Right. Let's have a look. Uh, is it? Is there even an engine? Okay, there is an engine under there. Um, but it's probably missing a lot of stuff. Okay, this is great. So let's. This is my build, dude. Let's buy this thing. Let's see how expensive it was. Seventeen thousand. Holy crap! That's a steal. Buy. Bye. Yes, uh, we're gonna go to the garage and uh, let's get back and start work on it ASAP. Here we go. Looks like the paint is this kind of like gray. Uh, looks pretty decent. I mean, the paint color isn't that bad. So let's let's just move this thing. Uh, we're gonna start work on it ASAP. Uh, we're gonna move a couple of things there already. Like for example, I might as well move this over there. The welder equipment too, and let's move this there as well. And that should be pretty much everything here. So we're just going to use... Uh, let's... Why am I... I'm clicking wrong... What am I doing here? There we go. Jesus Christ. What was I... Uh, we can move this back. And then use this as well. Clean. Yes. And then move that back too. Uh, there you go. It's looking a little bit nicer. Uh, paint... It's not bad color. Not a bad color at all. A uh, bunch of rusted parts as you can already tell. So... First thing before I can do anything with the engine is probably let me just uh, take this and uh, take this engine cover off. Let's see, does it have a starter or anything like that that's connecting it? Let me just have a have a ganders here. It doesn't look like it. Actually, I think I need to take that uh, drive shaft out to get to the engine, and then that should be okay. And obviously, you know the drive shaft there as well. So. Well, that was a front drive shaft. Okay. Let's uh, let's lift it. Uh, well, I guess now we just got to remove a bunch of this stuff here. It's got uh, a few parts we need to remove. 
We're going to do how we always do it, guys. We're going to take apart the bits we need to take apart, like this. And we're going to get to the engine. And uh, we need to go to the other side, too. Here we go. Now we should be able to just take this out. There we go. And let's lift it up. It's even got the cool little badges and everything. This is nice. This is a cool car. So now we'll take this part off. And I think we should be able to just take it off. I'm going to take the gearbox off as well. Why the hell not? Just so it's all off. There you go. Uh, let's uh, lower this thing down now. And we should just be able to just plonk it out with this. The engine is out. Nothing in there. Fantastic. Let's... Uh no, I don't need to move this back because obviously I'm going to need to put it back. So the engine we need to build is the I6DOHC. All right, let's see. It's right here. This is what we're building. And uh, that looks pretty much it. So let's start some work. We've got a couple of the parts, so let's just add these and see how far we got with the parts. Because I don't think I got... Uh, apparently I got two of those. Okay. I guess safety, dude, two's better than one so let's just add all these parts uh, we should have a few of these I don't think I have that no I do not oh it's a five wait a minute it's a six cylinder shit dude I think I got five or four wait a minute I've really messed up my okay I'm being an idiot here as you can see I bought four but it's a six so Rip me, dude. I got that wrong way around. I did. What I'm going to do here is rotate this to make it a little bit easier for me. There we go. So uh, now we should just add these here. This is a long engine. Let me tell you that. It's a long ass engine. It's definitely like, uh, instead of like a meaty chunky side, it's like a, a long one, you know? Long shafty, like it's long neck or something. All necks matter, dude. Anybody seen that really stupid video? Just me? Alright, cool, 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 cool. Well, I guess we're just going to keep adding these camps here and the uh, crankshaft bearings. Uh, we seem to have enough here, so it should be A-OK -okay here. Nothing interesting here. After this, uh, we should be able to add the engine head. A couple more parts I did get, so we're going to make some good progress here. I'm not really bothering trying to get as much power from this as I can. Uh, I'm just kind of restoring it. Uh, we, could, we obviously could add the nicer parts in here or the more powerful parts parts uh but yeah like i said i'm not bothering i'm just adding it to make it look a little bit you know uh restoration type of build so not fussed about that at all so here we can continue the build let's get this that's a hell of a lot of screws here god damn all right so i think i have none of those i need some camshafts obviously I need six spark plugs i don't think i have six i again bought four so I messed up my counting there. Time for some more parts. I uh, bought a couple of these things that we needed here. I don't think I have everything here, but I did get these. Uh, let's put two of these here. Oh, well, actually three of these. Uh, I'm not very good with maths. I didn't get the air filters, so damn. Damn to that. What I did get is the gearbox here, so let's add a couple of these parts here. They should be pretty easy. Making sure we have all of these added. And now we just, one more part, and the gearbox is pretty much done here. If I can just, can I see, there you go. Boom, there's, that's done. On top of here, let's add the camshafts. There you go. So that gives us, oh god, there's a lot of these. We Oh, we need to add a lot of these. There's so many. Uh, this is going to be tedious. I got the missing parts with these. Here you go. Now these should be finished, which is fantastic. Look at that. Great. Making some progress already. So now we also got all of the uh, parts over here. So I'm going to add these cam gears here. There you go. Uh, we got the spark plugs as well. So I can add those in there. There you go. I think I have these. Uh, I mean, no, I do not. So rip pepperonis. Let's add all of these camshaft caps here because there's quite a few. Okay, we got the belt. Let's add this. There you go. So now we can hopefully add this top cover. And there we make it. God, there's so many screws on this long ass peen engine. What the hell is up with this? Normally you get like eight or something. Like, what the hell? There's that. Okay, so let's continue on. Uh, we've got something to add here. Uh, I think I have these, right? There you go. There's one. Oh, we just needed one. Oh, crap. I got quite a few of those. 
So now we need two more parts here. We need a ignition distributor. We need a crankshaft pulley. An I6. All right. Let's get these parts. So I've got the two parts. Let's just add these and see what we get from these. I might have this serpentine belt. Hey, there we go. And I might even have this one too. Hey, there we go. Fantastic. So that's done. Uh, let's add this. Hopefully I got the correct stuff. And then I6, right? There you go. I6 cap. Fantastic. And we can add these rods, ignition wires as well. Boom. Is that... How's that looking? Is that looking... Uh, let's see. I'm probably missing something. Let me just double check here. I'm not missing anything major. You know, I think I might be done here with this engine. It wasn't a very long build or very big one. But I think I might be done here. So... Let's... Yeah, I guess there's an exhaust that comes out. You can see that. So maybe that's in the engine, though. Okay, so we're gonna take in... No, uh, take... There we go. Uh, put this puppy uh, back in the car. There you go. Move this. Ah, I fucked up there. God damn it. Put it back in that... Put it, there you go. And then we just move this. There you go. Okay, let's... Um, first things first, we're gonna add some fuel. I always do this as soon as I put the engine in because... One, I will forget, and, you know, this just makes it so that I don't. Well, so we've got a bunch of rusty parts here. I'm going to just remove all of these, like this pump there. What else? We've got the filters. Got to make sure the engine's all nice and nice and tidy. So if we go into this... Oh, God, it's a bit laggy. What is it lagging like? My my ass here. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, we got we got a couple of parts we can add here. Uh, let's buy these radiator. Just the air filter. We don't actually need the case. Okay, that's kind of weird. Radiator, uh, brake, blah, blah, blah. Let's get those. A little bit annoying how laggy it is, but, uh, we're gonna try to make it work. Uh, let's add all of these parts here. Not that many parts to add, to be honest. The fan is added. I think that is pretty much it when it comes to the engine here. Apart from the uh, gearbox, so we can lift it and do that as well. Uh, everything else here is fine. Where's the battery in this thing? Does it not have one or something? I don't... It's in the trunk. What? Oh, what the hell? That's cool. Let's hit the battery out there. Uh, we can just recharge this, because I feel like I'm going to forget. So let's charge this sucker up. Here she goes. That is pretty cool. It was like in the trunk. I was like looking for it. I was like, there's got to be a battery. Because if there's no battery, like, what the hell? It doesn't make any sense. That should be hopefully recharged. We saved a little bit of money. Not exactly anything. Oh, wrong, wrong button. If we do... Actually, how do I... Oh, there we go. Okay. Phew. It does come up. Okay. That's replaced. Great. Uh, we can close the trunk. Camera just had a seizure. Can I close? There you go. Jesus. Right then. Engine's pretty much done. We can work on the rest of the car, so the way we're going to do this is how i kind of lately been doing it. We're going to strip everything off, and then we're going to uh, try to repair some of the parts, just so it saves a little bit of money. Uh, but, I mean, you know, who cares about that? we got pretty good stacks of it. There's a lot of parts I need to take apart here. Jesus. Okay, there we go. So the first side is pretty much taken apart. Make sure we get this rubber bush in here. Oh, I just noticed there's a sneaky little uh, in large intercooler there. Let's buy that already. Here we go. Buy the large intercooler. I completely missed that. So let's already uh, add that. That was a close one. I was going to have a shitty intercooler. That wasn't going to be good. Out of all the skylines, which one is your favorite? Right, because there's quite a few. There's quite a few. And, and the shape is quite different between like the older ones. And then like the the, the 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 like the 32 generation upwards as well. Actually, did the I don't want to say something stupid because the JDM stuff is uh it's it's pretty old. Like it's got a long uh, long history, right? But let me know which one do you prefer. I feel like a lot of people like the newer ones more, or is the 34 like the you know everybody's number one? I don't know if I like 33 that much though. I feel like 32 looks nicer. 33 looks a bit awkward. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't really like it. Everything's off the front, so let's go to the bench. Pretty much just going to repair this stuff and hope for the best. I know we're probably going to break a couple of things, but whatever. 
Time to see what broke. Time to see what didn't. God, why is this car so laggy? This is horrible. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff we did break here. Um, that we need. need. <laughs> okay, uh, a lot of things did break. Uh, I need to buy, uh, buy the uh, front suspension cross member. I need to buy a steering rack. I need to buy. Uh, I need to buy a uh, what's this? A, a front sway bar. Yeah, a lot of parts I need to buy. And all right, let's buy some of these stuff. Okay, let's add a couple of these parts. Uh, we got some of these, so we can just throw these puppies on. It is very laggy for some reason. I don't know why, but this car is making my computer or the game lag quite a bit. So I don't know if it's going to come out in the recording a little bit laggy. If it is, uh, it's for some reason, I don't know, the game is having a seizure or something. So it's super sad. But this side is pretty much going to be done. Right, let's just add this. And uh, then I can add the wheel. Oh, here we go. The wheel hub. Uh, did I fix these? Okay, at least one of them is fixed. Great. Uh, now I need to add the shock absorber A. So let's make these over here. Uh, let's join the parts. And, well, we're going to have a good shock. Might as well make the other side as well. Because, well, I'll need it. So let's add the final part to this side. Here we go. And that is... No, actually, I need the... Here we oh god. Frames, please. There you go. Now she's done. Now she's done. We can add the wheels. We'll add the wheels afterwards. Let's finish this side here as well. Ooh crap. I just noticed I'm missing exhaust manifolds here. Two of them. Okay. So the engine isn't done. That was fake news, dude. Uh, I guess we got a little bit of work to do there. Before we go further, I wanted to add the parts on the engine that were missing here. Which was these, because I don't want to, like, finish the car and then forget about these. So let's just uh, throw these on here so it's all nice and done. Uh, I did buy another one because I knew I had only one. And also, I added the gearbox, so that means I need to add a starter. Uh, so let's see if we can get that on there as well. Which looks like it's probably somewhere on this side then. Here she is. Boom. Let's add this. There you go. So now, the engine should be actually finished and also I finished the both of the sides of the car uh, the front that is so we can uh, get some wheels uh, let's see if there's some nice wheels something something maybe in black would be cool so I've got some wheels hopefully they look okay they were kind of like the closest ones I could get like that you know normally the skylines do rock a lot of people like these wheels on them I mean, these aren't the same by any means, but, you know, uh, they they look okay, hopefully. I would have much preferred them if they were all black, but I guess that is an option. Let's see how these look like on it. I don't know if this is actually going to suit these. I kind of feel like they might look a bit bad. Yeah, I don't think that suits it at all. Oh, that doesn't suit it at all. Hmm. Eh... Uh, Screw it. We're just gonna go with them just to go with them. Maybe we'll add some different wheels at the back just to be awkward or something. Well, I mean, that's kind of the front done. I'm just gonna remove this hood because that needs work anyway. So, front's done. Uh, great. Let's move on to the back. Let's lift this as well. We're gonna do exactly the same what we did at the front. Remove everything. Uh, then we're gonna try to fix it at the bench. See what gets fixed. See what gets broken. And then after that, we're in the home run. We're just gonna have to take off the rusty parts, buy the new parts. And then we're going to paint it something uh, something nice. Maybe like Midnight Purple would be pretty cool. I think purple is going to look, mm, you know, on this car. So maybe that's the... What the hell? My camera? Maybe that's what the color we're going to go for. My camera's like having a weird seizure here. It's like glitched out for some reason. But here we go. It's getting a little bit... No, it's back in somebody's asshole here. Zoom out! God damn it. No, zoom out. Hey, okay, there we go. Time to remove all this trash here, because everything's broken. I don't like these rears. <laughs> There's so many parts to this ass of this car. Um, it's kind of annoying. So many arms, so many things to take. And why can't I take this? Oh, yeah, there's a small rubber bushing. Now I can take this. Thank you. This tank as well. There we go. Uh, so that side's done. Let's move on to the other one and take everything off here. More or less the same here, just taking everything apart and see what we can fix. Considering most of the fixes have like 90% chance or higher, 
I kind of break a lot of parts. I don't know why. I thought, like, I'd fix more parts. But, you know, it's maybe 50-50 at best. Like, I always, like, break one part. Like, one part gets fixed, one breaks. So, it, like, but the odds are so high, so it doesn't really make any sense. I be I should be fixing, like, 90% of the parts, but I don't. Okay, we're getting in there nearly. Here we go. This and that. Okay, beautiful. Now that that is done, let's fix some of these parts. Yeah, look at these chances. 95% chance, 99 chance. Like, they're really high chances, and I break a lot of them. I don't know why. It's kind of sad, dude. Look, that, that broke at like 95 or 97. 95% chance I can fix this? Sure, why not? So let's see. Did we fix the main part? Nope. No biggie, I just bought the part, so there you go. Fantastic. Add these rubber bushings in here, and we can uh, continue on here. Actually, before we go further here, uh, let me add this. Did I fix the drive shaft? Yeah, there you go. I didn't buy this. This is repaired, so let's just get this added here. So now the ass is connected with the front, but we also we need to buy some of these. Uh, I need a cataclyc... Catalyc... What? Okay, let's try it up one more time. Catalytic converter? Did I say that correctly? So sorry, my English not very good, you know. Muffler, uh, exhaust pipe, and then we need a muffler V8. Alright, uh, let's buy some of these parts. Pretty sure I got everything here, so let's just add all this so the exhaust is done, so I don't have to mess about with it later on. Last part, there you go. And that seems pretty good. Also, we can add this fuel tank, because I did buy a spare one. Make sure we add the fuel pump. Boom. And, uh, yeah, let's get this. I know the sway bar B. Might as well buy that because I don't have that. So, sway. Rear sway bar B. We need one of these. And let's uh, do some do some work. Hey, look at this. For once, I repaired both of them. That hasn't happened in a blue moon. Mm, one's broken, one's fixed. That's normally what happens at 90% or something. Oh, same thing again. Kind of weird, at 99% I still break them. I mean, I'm not complaining, who's complaining? I think there's just a big conspiracy, you know what I'm saying? So I need some brakes, uh, I need uh, brake discs, two of those most likely. And let's add these on here, boom. Let's see if this is fixed. Oh, again, one fixed, one broken. How? Is that 50%? Just bought a bunch of small bushings because I know I need some here. Just so I have enough here. There you go. Uh, let's keep adding these parts. I don't think I was able to fix this, so I need the rear shock absorber A. I might as well buy two of those as well. Add the new part. There you go. How's this upper arm? Oh, great. Two of them fixed. I am impressed. Now we can just add this. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? I don't think I have these. I need sway bars. Two of these end links. There you go. So, obviously one for each side. We can add this. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, and how she's looking. I need something here. There you go. This is gonna let me do this arm. One broke, but I did buy an extra. That's why there's two fixed there. And uh, this too. There you go. I did buy the springs because I don't think you can repair these and the top cap as well. Can you repair those? Doesn't look like it, so I bought those. So that's pretty much done. I need to buy some brake pads. I think I just bought one brake pads. I do obviously gonna need uh, two more. Let's see, brake calibers, did you get fixed? Yes, but the one cylinder didn't. So that is done. That side's done. Fantastic. Let's get the other side. We're almost done with this puppy here. So let's just add all of these bushings here, make sure everything is correct, because there's a lot of bushings at the, the, the uh, rear here. You kind of can go wrong. You honestly can miss one, and then that's it. You're going to be stuck forever, because you don't know which one I've missed. Almost done this arm. Just a couple more things to add here. This should give us the arm, so now we can add... The spring, here you go, spring cap, the actual rear spring, and then we can do the absorber cap, there you go. Uh, that, I think, means we have done everything. Did I add all the bushings? It looks pretty good to me. We can add this. Last little check, yeah, it's looking fine. Wheel hub, I'm missing a wheel. I need a rear wheel hub, there you go. Let's add this on here. I think I have all the parts here to finish this, so let's just add them, get it all done, and dust it, boom, boom, yes. And that should pretty much gives us the wheels, so let's see. Let's see, maybe I might add some different wheels at the back, just so it kind of looks a bit weird, because I know some people do that. I don't know if it's going to look dumb, though. 
Right, so the car is pretty much done. We've done the engine, we've done the front uh, suspension, everything like that, and we've done the rear as well. But I think some of the wheels that I really don't think really suits this, so I think I'm going to change those. I kind of have two different wheel types on this. I don't think I like it. I don't know. Let me know. I can't really find any wheels that suit this. I don't know. This is kind of bugging me. So we're definitely, I don't think, going to keep that. It is. It doesn't really just look right. But let's um, take all these parts off here that we can uh, pretty much take off here. So we can uh, do some of the work and repairs and everything like that. I think most of this stuff just nice and easy comes off. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with the interior afterwards. Front lights as well. Take these. I kind of look so stupid here without stuff. Is this side skirts not coming out? I I guess not. All right. Well, um, let's add some of these parts on. Wait, this window here comes off. What about this side as well? Looks like it doesn't even. They don't even have it on that side. I'm gonna add the tinted windows just to make it look a little bit more badass. So that's the thing that we're gonna do. I guess I bought um, all the windows or something. Uh, we're definitely going to go with the badge one, because the badge one looks sweet. I don't know why anybody would want to debadge it. Uh, there's two options here. There's a uh, Nissan Skyline window trap. We're going to go with that. I don't know why. That was weird. So far, so good. Let's just uh, keep on adding all the parts here. We're going to get to the front, where kind of like the coolest stuff is ready. Uh, it's, it has actually given us a couple of options we can do with the uh, bumper, which is pretty cool. Same with the... Hood as well. What's the difference between these? Nothing. But we can add the carbon one, so I guess we'll just add that because, you know, why the hell not, right? Two headlights. It looks like it changes the. Changes the light there. Okay. I guess we'll go with those, though. Yeah, that looks kind of clean. Do you see what it does in the corner? It kind of makes it either really yellow or non yellow. Uh, I mean, that looks pretty clean. Yeah, we'll go with that. That looks pretty good. Uh, so now we can add the actual bumper, right? So with this, we have a couple... Of, wait, what am I doing? Here, uh, here we, uh, boom. There you go. A couple options for this, as you can see. I think I'm going to go with this splitter. At the, yeah, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. I like... Okay, maybe it's not as stupid as I thought. It kind of looks okay now. Uh, so next thing what we can do is uh, let's uh, pretty much take out uh, here... There you go. Take this apart. This weird steering wheel. Let's get that out of there. And buy some a little bit more better. So for the steering wheel, I'm thinking something like... Uh, where is it? Something like, you know, like race steering wheel. Kind of like this. Something like this, maybe? That, that'll, that'll be totally fine. So I think this one right here, that'll be, that'll be fine. So seat-wise, I want to kind of um, get some kind of race seats, I think. So these will be fine. We'll buy two of those. So we'll add these Lotus seats in, eh, kind of like race seats, I guess they look a little bit. And we'll add the different steering wheel. Now that looks a lot better now. It doesn't look stupid with a weird steering wheel. So let's get this in the paint booth uh, so we can make it all nice and dandy. So the color, like I said, I think I might go maybe like purple. I mean, not purple something. I think that might suit it quite nice. So let's see how that looks. There she is. There she is in all its glory. Let's move her to... The garage kind of entrance, because we can see a little bit better there. I think she looks pretty cool. What do you think? Okay, it came out actually not that bad. I, I'm still a little bit undecided on the double wheels kind of thing. I don't know if it look a little bit cleaner with maybe just the same. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you like it? Do you not? We can always change it, but that's pretty good. It actually looks really good. Let's take it off. I really like the front, actually. Even with the carbon hood. I wasn't sure about the carbon hood as well. Should I keep that or should I... Remove that. I think that looks pretty decent. Let's uh, take it out to just the abandoned airport. That'll be fine. Uh, there's a clip missing from the car. Well, that's awkward. Oh, maybe it's this. Maybe it's the engine cover. Is that what it's missing? Well, that makes it look a little bit more nicer. Let's see. Does that make it so we can take it to the airport? No, there's still a clip B missing. What? So what is missing is this. This fucking thing is missing somewhere. I don't know where. This is bad. This is real bad. Where the hell would you be missing? Where would you be missing? Oh, no. Anywhere here? I don't know. Oh, this is so bad. Guys, I actually have no idea where this clip would be missing. This isn't even, like, a joke or anything. 
This is... Oh, no. We're, it's not going to be at the rear, is it? Like, why would it be... Why would it be at the rear? I don't believe there'd be a clip missing at the rear. Oh, this is bad. No, this is very bad. I don't think we're going to get to drive this. Because I don't know where this clip is. I found it. I found it is right here. Oh my god. There's probably one on the other side as well, right? I can't angle it. There you go. Oh my god. That was, uh, I was about to go mad there. So now we should be able to... <sighs> Stupid ass clip. Here she is, boys and girls. Here she is. We can... What just happened to that dial? Can we just look at the speed, the speedometer dial? It's... We're, we're going so fast. The thing just... Whoop. See ya. Oh, there's... Okay. No, there... <laughs> What the fuck? And she is on the a passenger's side. Apart from that, this thing looks neat as hell, dude. Looks great. I'm pretty happy with this. Let me know in the comments down below. I was able to fix the clip issue. That kind of really busted my balls. Kind of peed on my parade. Made me a little bit sad. But we fixed up the Skyline. The uh, R32. Uh, hopefully you liked the build. Hopefully you liked the video. If you do you want to see some more car mechanic, let me know down below. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy. Have a great day. And let me know what you think, guys. Bye.